What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I'm going for a drive, but also I have my son Luke here with us. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go for a cruise. We gotta go to the grocery store, but uh, ran into an issue yesterday. I went driving in the car, uh, went out to the wineries and um, found a nice open road. No one was around and I did a couple really hard pulls in the car. Was running great, went flipped back around, went down a huge long road. Came back around, I'm sorry, I'm describing the whole trip, but when I came back up the hill and I hammered it on that same epic straightaway, um, number eight, spark plug, failed. And the reason why we know it was number eight, well, one, we hooked it up and it was misfiring. So we didn't know if it was the plug or the wire or the, yeah, the plug or the wire. So we pulled the plug in the wire, put them on number seven and tested it there. Number seven then was misfiring. And so then we took the wire off seven and put it on one and one on seven and seven was still misfiring. So that was the spark plug issue. So I went down, got a brand new set of NGKs. I believe the Iradium IX, they're the sevens. Uh, we wanted the eights, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Uh, like they don't exist anymore. Um, but anyways, threw them on the car. Car seems to be running perfectly fine now. So we're gonna go on a quick cruise do that same poll, but this time bring you guys along with me. Hopefully there's no traffic over there. And then we gotta go to the grocery store to get lunch. Yeah? Yeah. Ready to do it? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, we're cruising. We're headed out into the wineries right now. What do you think? Do you like dad's car, bud? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta talk loud, make sure the camera can hear your voice, so. Um, you don't get to drive in the Camaro very often because I really don't go cruising that much lately anymore, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite part about the Camaro? Because it goes super fast. Because it goes super should we go should we go find a place to go super fast? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to go do that. We'll get we'll get Luke's reaction on super fast. You seat belted in, you're in your seat, you're good to go. Yeah. So yeah. So we're getting the car ready right now. Basically, I'm doing these drives just to kind of see how the car's feeling. Um, we got the 15 inch conversion going on. That is happening next week. So I'm dropping my car off at Rembard Racing. They're gonna be doing the 15 inch conversion. Uh, I'm gonna try to be there and get a video of it, but depending on how work is and stuff, I might not be able to. We'll see if that happens. Um, but the big race, about all the bow ties, again, that happens December 2nd up at Famosa Raceway. Um, hopefully, Again, 15 inch conversion, new 15 inch wheels with bead locks, got uh, the 275, 60, 15 tires. Hopefully we'll get some traction now with the Lethal Camaro, some good traction to really get good times because the biggest problem right now is leaving off the line. I'm just blowing the tires and we've had to drop the throttle at launch so low. I mean, my nose, my car doesn't even pick up. Like it just doesn't. So we're, I think we're down like at 36% throttle. Uh, which is not very good. So hopefully we can raise that quite a bit now with the tire conversion and stuff. Uh, looks like there's a police officer over here. Here we'll go. Quiet mode exhaust. There's no such thing as quiet mode exhaust in this car anymore. Um, and that's highway patrol, even worse. Yeah, we can't, we don't want to mess with highway patrol today. But that all being stated, um, that's kind of what's happening right now and going for times full quarter mile it'll be the first time I go to the quarter mile but the big thing is is dialing in the tune so um, got new tune coming new everything we're gonna try to dial the car in the best we can uh, and see what we can do see what see what the uh, inner chiller is gonna do for us we're gonna do all that stuff so and also between that time got to put some more insulation and stuff for the inner chiller and then obviously we're gonna adjust the tune for the inner chiller uh, we really need to get to a dyno for that because basically what you do is you tune your car for all the different levels of heat and uh, cooling and that way you know you didn't leave any power on the table. So that tune is coming. Uh, definitely a full video and details on that, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Unfortunately, time is just, it's not there. Lots of stuff going on. So well, let's, let's do some driving. Want to do some driving? Yeah. You want to drive? <laughs> you can't drive, you're a little too young. One day. One day. Love you, bud.
started to take off and the car had upshifted on me. Well, I didn't, I thought I downshifted, but it was in third. So I dropped it into second, hit it, tires broke free. I let off the throttle just a little bit, got a little traction, got on the throttle again, tires broke free again. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I let off just a little bit, got traction, got on it. Yeah, she's running really good. So again, keep in mind, I got my R888s on. Uh, R888s are great tires if you're in like the six to 700 range or lower, uh, you're gonna get really good traction out of them. They will break if they're not warmed up, guaranteed. Uh, but once they're a little warm, especially in corners and everything, these things are monsters. But 800 plus range, yeah, no, they, they're gonna break free. So I don't care how hot they are, they will break. Um, but it's a great tire. I can't wait to get the, uh, the 275 Pros on. That's gonna be really nice and we'll see how it runs. So uh, lots of stuff coming in the channel. I do appreciate you guys following along the builds and also sticking along or staying subscribed during this kind of quiet time. Uh, again, just been saving my pennies. It's it, the things I've been doing, they cost a lot more money. So it's taking a little bit longer to pay for it all. Still waiting to get my car in to get the cage. Unfortunately, it won't be in before about all the bow ties. So um, won't be able to go full on out. I probably will in my last one or two runs, but really we want to test and tune the car and get her dialed in at the track for full quarter miles. So um, I'll probably do like thousand foot runs and then either let off. We'll just see what kind of times we're running. Uh, they're going to let me run tens. Obviously the car's capable of doing much better. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, but outside of that, that's all I got. You got anything you want to say, bud? No. Outside of messing with the air vents? You good? Yeah. He's good. Hey everybody, this is Luke. He's my second oldest son. Uh, and he's awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Until next time, hope to see you on the road.